Hello everyone and welcome to this part 2 on how to append filtered list using the amazing worksheet functions in Excel. Now, in the previous video, we learned how to use the Python code right in Excel to perform the operation and it works like a charm. So let's see how to do the same thing using a worksheet function in Excel. I'm going to select cell K2 and type in E equal sign let and then let's write it in the formula bar Control Shift U to expand. Now, in the formula bar, I'm going to press Alt Enter to jump to the next line. Now, the first thing I need to do is to give a name and then assign value to the name. So, for the name one, I'm just going to call this one, you know, Record 2021. I'm going to just copy this in memory, Control C, put in a comma. Now, for the value, I want to assign, let me just move this here. For the name one value, I want to store all this record from cell A to Control Shift right and down arrow key, Control backspace, put in a comma. Now, for the name two, I'm going to Control V and replace the record 2021 to 2022. Put in a comma and for the value, we want to store the records or the transaction for the 2022. So in cell D2, control shift right on the down arrow key, control backspace, put in a comma. I'm going to alt enter. Now for the name three, now we want to access the sales column. So I'm just going to call this one sales 2022 or 2021, put in a comma. Now for the value, I want to store the sales value inside that you know name so in cell b2 control shift down arrow key control backspace put in a comma now i'm just going to copy this and um, reuse it you know control v i'm going to replace the 21 to 22 put in a comma now for the value i'm going to store the sales column in control column a control shift down arrow key control backspace put in a comma alt enter now we need to go ahead and filter the first list that is the record 2021 and record 2022 based on the criteria now the criteria is sales that is greater than or equal to 30,000. so i'm just going to call this one um just going to control c i'm going to control v and underscore filtered okay put in a comma now for the value i'm going to use the amazing filter dynamic array function so filter Comma. Now, filter requires the array that is what we want to return. We actually want to return the records 2021, comma, and the include argument that's going to, you know, go into the array and return the rows where it is true. It's going to be the sales 2021, control C, I'm going to control V, and then I'm going to use greater than or equal to, and then we can put in the 30,000. Three zero 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 zero. Now let's close the filter. Comma. Now let's just evaluate this C twenty twenty one underscore filter. Control C. I'm going to call it Control V. Close the bracket. Control Enter. And that works magic. It works pretty fine. So we can actually see all the filtered leads for the year twenty twenty one sales. Amazing. I'm going to come back to the formula bar. Get rid of this. Delete the bracket. Alt Enter. Now I'm going to just replace. I mean, replicate the same thing. Control C. Right? Alt enter control V. So I'm going to replace this to 2022. And of course, I have to replace this to 2022. Okay, now let's just you know see what this is going to be delivering. Alt enter control V, close the bracket for the let control enter. So we can actually see the filtered record for the year 2022. Also amazing. Now let's come back to this, get rid of this, delete the backspace. And the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and use the Vista to stack them on top of each other. So I'm going to call this one calc, or you can call it any variable name, and it is not even necessary. Comma. Now, so for the value, I'm going to use the uh, Vista function. Now, the Vista function requires the first to be at the top. Now, I'm going to grab this sales 2021 filtered. I'm going to control C, control V, put in a comma. Now, for the array two, I'm going to grab the Save 2022 underscore filter, control C, control V, close the bracket, comma, and then we can call the variable which is calc, press the tab key, close the bracket, and this is the moment of truth. Control enter or control shift U to collapse the formula bar. Now we can see we've been able to filter the list. These are the records that is equal to or greater than. Oh, this is uh, this actually not correct. Okay, so I'm going to come back here. Let's see. I'm going to double click on this. Ah, okay, so I actually need to replace this to um, 2022. Press the tab key, control enter, and that should fix the problem. Now let's go through the records. 
Now we should be able to see that all these are records that is equal to or greater than 30,000 threshold. And of course, we can see the record for the 2021 and then the 2022. And of course, when you compare that with the same thing we did in Python, you can see how many records. Control Shift down the key. You can see we have 85 records. So let's check here also. Control Shift down the key. We can see 85 records. So we achieve the same result using the worksheet functions in Excel. Now, in the third video, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using the SQL Server query. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.